Hi guys, you'd have seen in our most recent rat run video that we had a component failure on one of the trailers. It was on the Chameleon trailer that, um, that was lent to us behind me. And I just want to say to start off with, it had nothing to do with the guys at Chameleon. It was a Cruise Master product failure. And what actually happened is this shock absorber bracket here, which holds the shock on to our ATX suspension, the weld failed on the shock absorber bracket. That particular trailer had already been out to Fink and back before we took it up the Cape. It had done some kilometers before it failed. Regardless of that, it's not something that you want. We've had no further failures of this part in the field, and we have done some root cause analysis. Now we've got back to base to figure out what's been going on. What we found out is through a change of welding process here at Cruise Master, we weren't getting the penetration on this top weld that we would generally expect. So what we've done, we've gone back, we've reprogrammed the robot, we've changed how we've done it, we've increased the length of the weld, we've wrapped it around the corner, and we're now getting a really good weld on this particular bracket. So I don't have any concerns with what's out there in the field, if anybody's currently got an ATX suspension out there. Further to that, because we always like to improve here at Cruise Master, we are investing in weld macro equipment. This is going to allow us to cut welds look at the penetration, hardness and stuff like that of the weld and affected area to make sure that if we do a process change or a design change or stuff like that, that we can val absolutely validate the quality of the product in-house. This will also allow us to speed up iteration through the development process as well. So really excited about that next step for us on our quality journey. So that's, uh, that's about it. It's all about continuous improvement here at Cruise Master without limits.